there are over 2 million diabetes patients in Taiwan. If diabetes is not controlled, it can lead to medical issues affecting the eyes. About 2% of patients are diagnosed with diabetic macular edema, which is caused by uncontrolled blood sugar levels and too much fluid building up in the macular, the part of the eye that helps people see. A Taiwan-based biopharmaceutical company and a university have partnered to develop a drug that treats the condition and other retinal diseases. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang has the details. There are over 2 million diabetes patients in Taiwan. If diabetes is not properly managed, it can lead to medical issues affecting the eyes. About 2% of patients are diagnosed with diabetic macular edema, which causes reduced and blurred vision. Currently, uh, in retinal diseases, there is an unmet medical need to treat patients. That's uh, angiogenesis, inflammation, and fibrosis. When you take a diabetic macular edema patient, 30% uh, of the patient, they are responding to the current treatment. Another 30% are partial. The rest of them are not responding. The underlying causes of retinal diseases include uncontrollable blood vessel growth, inflammation, and scarring. National Sengong University and a pharmaceutical company has designed a drug using snake venom proteins that can block these pathways. In our technology, we engineer the venom into drugs. So as I just mentioned, we get rid of the side effect. So it means we get rid of uh, some targets and kept the main target for angiogenesis. Yeah. So that's what we did for protein engineering. This is the first biologics. It means it's a protein drugs can, you know, enter the phase two clinical trial. Most of the drugs currently, they are antibodies. Yeah. This is a special drug. It's called FC fusion protein. It has multiple targets in one compound. It's not antibody. We can treat diabetic macular edema patient we can treat uh, age-related macular degeneration patient. We can also treat other retinal diseases. And we are hoping to treat a dry AMD patient as well with this drug. It has huge opportunity to treat many, many retinal diseases. Aside from retinal diseases, the team says that the drug can also help treat pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is a high mortality and uh, high chemo resistance. So use this uh, new antigenesis drug, we can overcome the drug resistance and can uh, prolong pancreatic cancer patient survival. This uh, project compound is in phase 2A clinical trial in DMA patient. We are in the process of recruiting patients in America. The team is currently undergoing phase 2A trials. It hopes to help treat more patients with retinal diseases as well as other cancers. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Li Han in Taipei.